Well, gang, it's day four of my adventure, and the adventure turned into a big adventure. As you can see behind me, I only made it to Winslow, Arizona yesterday. I only drove for an hour. I was going to drive for 12 hours yesterday, but I only made it to Winslow, Cali or California, Winslow, Arizona, and that's because the truck's turbo went out. So when the turbo went out, it's still drivable, but it only pulls like, you know, the trailer at like 10 miles an hour. So stopped, I pulled over, got myself an uh, RV park, and the RV park I found was actually super cool, down by the, the Flying J here, gas station and Denny's, so I have restaurants next to me, and Mexican restaurants, but I got to set up the trailer last night, and actually sleep in it for the first night, and had a great night. The bed is really comfortable, I slept like a baby, it was really easy to set everything up, I got the water, electric, and uh, sewer all hooked up, and everything's working perfectly. Uh, the air conditioning's working, the hot water heater's working, the water's working. And then I went to Walmart and spent about $400 on plastic dishes. And I bought uh, things like uh, those bed mats, those like three inch foam things, just to make it even more comfortable and stuff like that. So I spent a lot of money at Walmart and stocked up the place with food and uh, I'm ready to go. So I have internet, I have Netflix, and I can work. So what I'm thinking is the universe said, uh, dude, you need to stop for the weekend and you need to uh, work. So I'm going to head back to the RV right now and I'm going to start working on a new project that I have. And from there, we'll see what happens. Most of the Ford dealerships within 60 miles of here are three weeks out to even diagnose it. I've called around every small little shop, can't get anybody on the phone because it's the weekend. But I managed to find this one guy that everybody recommended actually. His name is Angel and he has a shop. He used to be the manager of the Ford uh, or the lead tech at Ford. And now he has his own shop. You can see it there behind me and the truck is there. I dropped it off. He says he can't look at it until the end of the week, but hopefully he'll look at it sooner. Anyways, that's the update. And actually I'm having a great time. Not a big deal so far. Obviously I can't make it back to North Carolina by Tuesday like I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm having a good time. I have internet. I'm working. I got food. I got shelter. Actually, I have my house with me because it's my house now. So all is good. So I hope you guys have a great Saturday and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.